Congratulations, fellow American. You've decided to use your Second Amendment right to defend yourself against criminals in public. Now, it's very likely that you walked into a gun store, saw all the options, and wondered where the hell am I supposed to begin. But not to worry, I'm here to give you some good advice that is definitely from an expert because I am definitely an expert in my own mind. The first kit that I want to get you looking at is what I call the basic. Glock 17, high capacity, well liked cartridge, very popular cartridge, very common, very cheap. Ultimately, you can't really go wrong with a Glock 17. But what if you wanted to be a little bit different? As a runner up for probably the second most common kit, we have what I like to call the Boomer. M1911, it's been around for a long time. Also a well liked cartridge, not quite as cheap. Low capacity, so don't miss, but there's good reason a lot of people like these. They've been around for a while, and you really can't go wrong with one of those either. This next kit, I like to call the gun nerd who really shouldn't put his trust into something this obscure. I mean, it worked for somebody. There's a reason why people like these. Let's say you're willing to sacrifice all levels of convenience and reliability in exchange for being able to kill just about anything in one shot, including a bison. Well then you can go with a kit that I call the overcompensating for something. I mean, if you have the mentality of a five-year-old, then this would be pretty fun for you. You can, of course, also go with the really old Western fan who has too much confidence in his aim. Yep, that ought to do it. Let's kick it up a notch a bit. Let's say that you live in a place like Texas or Tennessee or anywhere down south that isn't California. Then you can go with what I call the gangster. It's like a cartoon death. He just kind of got bullet holes all in him. Of course, you could also go with the 25-year-old Call of Duty player who has too much money. And not enough aim. Let's say you want to defend your home with something nice and reliable. Shotgun is always a really good option, especially for beginners, because it's hard to mess up. For example, this baby's first boomstick. <laughs> yep, shotguns. They're all pretty much the same. Of course, if you really want to sacrifice all levels of convenience in order to destroy a building in one freaking bullet, then you can go with something like this. Seriously, this magazine is like six or seven inches long. If you're good friends with the ATF, you can get what I call the Crazy Marine. It lives over there now. Now for some people who want to carry out in public, it's kind of hard to decide what exactly type of firearm you want to do. Uh, well, I have the kit for you. I call it the everything. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that this guy died. You can go with the option of the pacifist. Might kill him, but there's also a good chance that you'll just blind him indefinitely. Well, maybe not with that, that thing's pathetic. And of course, if you really, really, really just don't want to hurt him, you know, you could go with something like this, which is a little derringer that shoots 2-2-LR. Like seriously, you'd probably do more damage by just sneezing at them. Really, the list doesn't even begin to end there. You can go with just about anything you want. But always be sure that whatever you use, you're content with and you trust your life with. Unless, of course, you live in California, in which case, use something that, you know, does basically nothing. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, 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 oh. 